And then this week we did a home run derby episode. So uh, that is uh, obviously something that very, very, you know, red meat, as they say, pretty obvious, but we're pretty excited to, you know, talk about home runs. So So great, greatest home run derby. Who -hmm. comes to your mind, Trev? Like if you think a home run performance, I think everyone's going to have a very, like, you know, one's going to go to the top. Do you have a guy? Yeah, obviously everyone's going to think Josh yes. Hamilton. And then right. you have to always tell people he didn't even win the home run derby. Yep. Justin Morneau, friend of the pod, won the home run say. derby. Wow. Yes. But I'll tell you well, what I love. I'll tell you what I love. Mm-hmm. And you guys, like, people are going to talk crap about him, but he is my, my buddy. Ryan Braun put on a show. And the BP pitcher for Ryan Braun it was none other than our agent, Nez Bolello. What? Wow. Yeah, so Nez big day a, for Nez Bolello. <laughs> yeah, big, so he's 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 great. Uh, been an agent for a long time. He's at CAA now, but he started out. He's a baseball player. He played in the Braves organization and was like a youth coach and had like a facility and all this stuff and parlayed that into becoming an agent. But like, I don't know if, if a lot of people know that he's out there. He throws the best BP. Like the best BP. I I think I got drafted as high as I did because when we would do these workouts for for teams, like he would throw me BP and just he just knew how to find the barrel. Mm. That's what he did. Those are my favorite stories of the home run derby. Is the BP? We went back. So I I went back and compiled data on the last ten years, just since 2010, of every single thrower in the derby, and can't just found some great stuff. Did you know Yadier Molina? Threw to Matt Holiday in the Derby, like he was his yeah. thrower, and he wore a glove. He's like has like a glove in his glove hand. How are the Cardinals letting that happen? Yeah, yeah. the catchers catchers always throw the best BP. I so know, but not the guy. Former catchers <laughs> throw the best BP. <laughs> yeah. Not former your catchers. peak Yadier Molina. Oh, that's great. That another so another good one is Brian Dozier gets in the Derby. It's mm. at target field in front of everyone and then he picks his brother which yes. is awesome except that clay couldn't find the strike zone it was a yeah really well tough home again, derby. like we had last year matt chapman's dad oh yeah just totally yep. ruining it for him like that was cool but but you know there's also a, a long history of of picking your dad and then winning cano, so harper dad, right to some, to some decent bp obviously jose cano was pretty good it's um, such a better story like I would rather have my dad out there and like we have that forever than like some random like dude that just throws good BP. Like that I told Dozier that I told Chappie that too after I was like, dude, that's who who gives a shit? Like you're right. in the home run derby and your right. fucking dad was throwing you BP on like a huge stage. It's amazing. Well, so, no, it's jo- so true. Josh had, Hamilton's yeah. guy. There was a story on Josh Hamilton's guy, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I, this is from my memory of back then, but I believe he always started BP with just having Josh Hamilton like hold his bat out like vertically and he would throw the first ball and just nail the bat like right there. It's like, where do you want it? And he would hold his bat still and he would just hit it and then they would go from there. I think Hamilton's guy was his American Legion coach in high school or something crazy like that. Yeah, yeah it was we, some we, high school coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had Hoskins on who was in the Derby in DC and like did low key super well. And he was talking about how he picked like this Phillies infield coordinator who he had taken hours and hours and hours of ground balls with in the minor leagues. And he was like, yeah, like this guy means something to me and he throws the best BP. Right. Yeah. So I, I, but I, I get Trevor's point, but at the same time, it's like, if you want to win, you do kind of have to have that part of it nailed down. Well, now that it, you it win, a, a now, you, part. Yeah, now that you win a million dollars, it's like, all right, well, <laughs> maybe dad, you know, well, Pete Alonzo, right. Making more from the Brad, derby. Dad, why don't you stay on the couch and I'll give you 250K <laughs> instead. Dad starts spiking one because they're in negotiations over how much he gets out of it, you know? That'd be funny. Um, yeah, yeah, what percentage do you give to dad for throwing mm. beeps? If you win a million, I don't know. It's got to be, gotta be a, big, a big chunk of that. Well, that's exciting. Really big hug. But yeah, so... Home Derby is fun. So that's so you obviously should go check out a lot of a out. lot of Griffey talk. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll tell one quick yeah. Griffey thing that I absolutely loved was he wins the Derby in '94, and in '98 the Derby's in Coors, and the Mariners like are playing the night before the Derby, 
in Texas. And Griffey's like, I don't want to do the Derby. Like I'm going to be tired. I don't want to do it. He comes out for the workout day in 1998, the morning, Monday morning and gets booed by the fans for not doing the Derby changes his mind an hour before the Derby asks if he can be in it. They say yes. And then he wins it. Did someone get, but booed none of the fans, None of the fans knew that he was going to be in it. So could you imagine, like, Ken Griffey's the most popular baseball player of all time. And you're some random schlub in Denver coming to the Derby, and Griffey's, like, not going to do it. And you're like, oh, whatever. And then they announce him. And then he wins. For the intros. Yeah, that's amazing. That's pretty cool. Like, who got huge. booted? Did someone get booted? Because that person could be like, well, no. I would have won, but Griffey took my spot. No, because back in the day, they like they fluctuated the number of it every year. Like They didn't really care. It was just kind of like, who wants to be in it? So they just went from 9 to 10. Do you like the new but, format? I think the best change baseball's made recently is the home run derby change of the format. Dude, yes. it is. It makes a huge difference. And going back and watching the old ones, even watching the Hamilton one, which is amazing, like I, 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 I timed it how long Hamilton's round takes from first pitch to lat his 10th out when he hits 28 homers. It took 22 minutes. Wow. Vlad true. Jr. hit 29 homers in like four minutes, like four, four <laughs> real minutes. And it's like, well, okay, this is obviously better. Like there, yeah. there's no, yeah. I mean, there, there are elements of it that, you know, maybe it builds with, with more breaks in between, but it's so much better now. It's un, undeniably a better system. Trev, yeah. who would have been your home run derby pitcher? Would it have been Nez? I don't know. Dude, a million dollars at stake is a lot different than just like, <laughs> hey, let's let's run the home run derby and see what happens. I get like a fucking trophy back in the day. A million dollars is different. I probably yeah. would have had Nez, yes. Or like, you know, someone I was comfortable with like in the organization, but... You know what I want? I want someone okay. to choose their son to pitch them. Like Cecil Fielder has 14 year old Prince throwing BBs down the middle. That's that's when that happens. I'll be excited. Imagine winning with your 14 year old son pitching you. That'd be awesome. Well, dream. Yeah, well, that's dream. a dream I have just I, in my dream bank. I will say I was on the back burner in 2012. They approached me like, hey, there's a possibility wow. you could be in the home run derby because I like was going off at that point. Um, that was happen. the year it was in. Uh, in Kansas City. That would have been horrible. That's a, t- <laughs> that's a tough place for a home run derby. Fuck. So what happened? Did they did I someone got, just snag the spot, Trev, and you didn't get it? The, I was like backup, 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 you know, like yeah. I'm I was a scrub, All dude. Right, I was Prince, just average. You know that. Prince Fielder, Joey Bats, Trumbo at his peak, Beltron on dude. the Cardinals, Carlos Gonzalez, McCutcheon, Kemp, and Cano. This is your Cano hit zero and got booed. <laughs> Didn't he win? Where the would next you year? where would you have finished? Where would you have finished in, in that derby? He won the year before in Arizona. Okay, I don't know. Man. I think a home run derby. It's not always about like the best hitter or even the strongest guy. Some guys are just some guys can just put him in the seats and BP. Anyone that Trevor wins, Blue. like you know, Judge can win this every single year, but he's not going to do it again. He wants a quick million dollars. 2012 Trevor Plouffe from the start of the season to June 15, 44 games, 39 starts, 14 yabos. Oh yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't come out here with your scrub lines. Cause I've I'll out scrub you every day. Sounds like a backup, 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 backup home run derby contestant to me. <laughs> Can I, I add uh, this to the Wikipedia yeah. page on this year's derby? Yeah. Like, yeah. Add it. Trevor Plouffe. There's there is a a, a subtitle for Robinson Cano booing controversy. I'm gonna add Trevor Plouffe participation controversy. Was considered. <laughs> was was cons- considered. Was, turned it down. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was a better baseball player. Trust me, I would have loved hey, to be in the moment. Everyone on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, all yeah, of us could probably the- say the same thing. 